The equipment that you'll need to draw with is a pencil, a pencil sharpener, an eraser. So you can use any pencil and the eraser that you want must be the nice soft one. So the it's called a plastic eraser. You don't want those pink hard erasers because they hurt the paper that you're drawing with. To do outline work and draw dark areas, people use a sharpie. I'm using a super sharpie because it lasts longer, but any sharpie will do. To fix mistakes and add highlights, we'll be using a correction pen. For adding color to our drawings, I'll be using the Crayola Mini Twistables. What's nice about them is that they not only come in a large variety of colors, you can set the length of the tip. So what's important about that is you can keep then this tip nice and short and that allows you to apply more pressure when you're coloring in and then your crayons don't break. And that allows us to get lots more colors than we normally would with a regular crayon. You're also going to need some paper to draw on. You can use regular photocopy paper, but I recommend uh, just a cheap drawing pad that you can get at the dollar store. The paper is thicker, so you can press harder on it without damaging the paper, and that gives you better drawings. Plus, you can now keep all your drawings in one place, and then everything stays nice and neat and organized. Then we'll also use lots of other items that we can generally find around the house, like a ruler to draw straight lines, a triangle that you would use at school to uh, draw angles. Then we'd use maybe things like masking tape, or a pencil sharpener, or even a coffee cup to help us draw circles. You'll find links to buy each of these items in the description below.